In today's episode, I challenge Rebecca Lim to a fun guessing game. Enjoy a good boxing workout with Fiona Fussy, plus learn how to whip up grilled chicken with spicy coconut gravy with Chef Bob. Never stray too far from home. Hello everybody, once again welcome to Home Together with me, Hosan Leong. Now, it's been a while. We've all been staying at home, wearing our masks and keeping our hands clean and not touching our faces and keeping safe distancing. All this is done in order to help stop the spread of COVID-19. My guest for today has been staying at home and she's going to share with us what she's been up to. Let's say hello to Rebecca Lim. Hi, Rebecca. Hello. Hi, Jose. <laughs> Hello. It's so lovely to see Hi. you again. So, how have yes. you been? You've, you've been working non-stop and then suddenly this, this abrupt break. How are you feeling? Well, um, well, it did take a little bit of getting used to because I've been working non-stop for, say, the past five years. Wow. So, I haven't really had a, like a break for more than a week for about five years. Are you serious? So Not more than a week? <laughs> you yeah, had a break. like with... a consecutive, wow. like uh, one more than one week kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Um, so I think it's not only strange for myself, but strange for my family as well. Especially <laughs> my mom to see me at the dining table for every single meal. <laughs> um, it took a bit of getting used to, but very grateful to be able to be at home with my family because um, this is the time where we're starting to um, bond. And I, my baby niece just arrived two months ago. Uh huh. So there's a lot of joy at home, you know. This is like a silver lining in, in the midst of all that's going on. Um, so mm. how are you keeping yourself busy then during this whole <laughs> period of time? Because you've been on the go non-stop, non-stop, suddenly like that, right? So what have you been up to? Well, I've been sleeping so much. <laughs> Like, so much. Um, <laughs> it's good to wake up and, you know, the sun has already risen, yeah, you know, and yeah. sometimes I wake up just in time for lunch. Wow. So, um, I'm enjoying a bit of that and um, also just really spending time with um, my family. So, Rebecca, you know, um, in the course of our line of work, especially for you, you've been travelling around and now suddenly all that's gone, right? In one fell swoop, we can't travel anymore. How are you yeah. feeling about that? I've actually initially had a few um, overseas projects lined up for this year, but um, unfortunately because of this incident, um, everything's put on hold or mm. um, postponed indefinitely. Um, but you know, I'm just grateful that I had the opportunity to travel so much for work in the past few years. Mm. And especially last year, I went to places that um, I've never been before, you know, like Paris, Sicily, oh. most of the time I just travel for work. I haven't really been on a holiday holiday for yeah. maybe like four years. So the times that I travel are all for work. Um, so I unfortunately don't really have the time to do all the touristy stuff. But the thing that I enjoy and I miss so much um, is traveling to different countries and experiencing different work cultures. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and learning from them, you know, because um, you see so much and uh, the way every country works is so different. Yeah. You know, and it's just a huge eye-opener um, and it only also really keeps things in perspective mm -hmm. and it helps to keep me grounded as well. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I that, that hey, you don't know all that much yeah. and that there's so much that you haven't seen, you haven't experienced, you haven't learned, you haven't, you haven't touched, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so that's something that I miss from all my travels and of course just being in a totally different environment and um, just picking up new skills as well. Yeah. Back in the 90s, uh, in the TCS days, um, oh. I, I used to love playing as a contestant uh, the, the pyramid game. Do you remember that, yes. those days? Have you played those oh games before? Oh my gosh, before? yes. <laughs> yes. It's so fun, yes. right? Yeah, I think it was it was like 6.30 or 6. Yeah. I don't know, before dinner. Yeah, it was before dinner, yeah, exactly. All my cousins, all my cousins <laughs> and myself would, would, would it like, was, just um, like try to guess. Daryl David, I think, was hosting it. Daryl David, uh, and then ben, it was also um, Ben Go, ben ben Benedict. Benedict. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those were the yeah. days. So we're going to play a little game, you and I. Um, I okay. I am going to this 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 category is movies, okay? I will give you a character. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> a okay. character and you have to name the movie that this character was okay. in. Alright? Okay. Here we go. Wolverine. Um oh no. X-Men. Elsa. Frozen. 
<laughs> Why got hands off? I don't know. I'm moving my arms. <laughs> Edward Cullen. Edward Ooh, um, Cullen. Um. Um. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Vampire Show. Okay. Um. um something. I'm sorry, I don't watch that, that okay. show. But something Dawn. Do you wanna it? pass? Oh, Twilight. Twilight. Very Twilight. good. Jack and Rose. Titanic. Okay, very good. Mr. Fredrickson and Russell. <laughs> Pass. Pass. All right. Um, Jack Napier. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, Jack Napier. No um, clues, very easy. Oh, shucks. I know. Pass, pass, pass. Okay, pass. All right, the final one. Bumblebee. Transformer. <laughs> yes, I love your hands. <laughs> All right. Well done. I don't know, I don't know why you use hands. got five <laughs> points from that round, okay? Okay. All right, my turn. Okay, I've got a category for you, okay. all right? Um, Which category? I've prepared it. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. So, okay. <laughs> Something that you're very familiar with. Oh, so okay. I'm being very kind. All right. Comedians. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber. Um, Bruce uh, Almighty. Oh. Oh. Ace Ventura. Uh, yeah. What's his name? The guy with the face. Um... Mask. Yeah, the guy with the face. Jim Carrey. Yes. <laughs> Ding -ding. Boom Boom Room. Kuma. Yes. Hard Knock Wife. Hard Knock Life. Hard wife. Hard Knock Wife. Hard Knock Wife. Yeah. Um, she wife. wears um, spectacles, oh, leopard dress. Oh, oh, oh. Dear girls. Always be my maybe. Oh, okay. You know what? Pass. Sorry, I don't know. Very oh. bad. Pass. Eddie Wong. Okay, yeah. um, he's Malaysian. Oh. And he's scared of dogs. He's Malaysian and scared of dogs. Um, <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Did you come out with this yourself? <laughs> <laughs> he's Malaysian and scared of dogs? <laughs> there are many people who okay, are scared I'm, of dogs. Okay, pass. <laughs> okay, pass. Wow, Ronnie I fail. Chung. I very fail, huh? Okay. Mm. I heal from Johannesburg. Oh, it's Trevor Noah. Yes! Um, okay, Bridesmaids, on um, The Heat. Yes, I know her. She Ghostbusters. Is... Yes, Simples. Melissa McCarthy. No. Yes. Oh, really? Done. Uh, was it Ronnie yeah. Chang? Was it Ronnie Chang, the earlier one? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. So you got like one, two, <laughs> three, four. You've got four, right? So thank you so much for spending some time with thank us on you. Home Together. I wish you all the best thank as well. You. Um, say hi to your little niece when she wakes up. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Thanks. Thank so you. nice to see you, Hosan. Yeah, likewise, Rebecca. Take care of yourself, okay? Thanks, everybody. Bye. See you. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> there we have it. Rebecca Lim saying hello from her home. Well, stay with us because we're going to have Fiona Fussy to tell us how we can keep fit. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Never stray too far from. Hello and welcome back. I don't know about you, but whenever I need to psych myself up for a vigorous exercise, an energy pumping song will start spinning in my head and this can range from Pump Up The Jam to Eye of The Tiger and you may like to start turning on your playlist in your head as Fiona Fussy invites you to channel the fighter in you for an awesome boxing workout. Hi, I'm Fiona Fusi, and I'm going to teach you a boxing workout that you can do at home. Boxing is one of my favorite exercises and it's also a great beginning to self-defense. So let's get to it. The first move is just your usual punching forward, jab and cross. So for boxing, if you're right-handed, make sure your left leg is in front and your right leg is 45 degrees behind. So this is your power punch, so this is your cross. But your jab is your left hand, jab, cross, jab, cross. Make sure you twist your hips when you cross and also pivot your leg as well. That's where you get the power for your punch. 
Remember to keep your guard up the whole time. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. One, two, one, two. Okay, now the next move is our hooks. Hook to the side as if you're punching someone in the side of your face. So just hook and when you hook, make sure again, you always twist your body. You twist your lower body. That's where your force comes from. Make sure you twist. We usually use the left one more in boxing, but we can do both. Twist, hook, hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, 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 hook. Really twist, 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 twist. Keep your guard up the whole time. Hook, good job. We have one more uppercuts. We're gonna have the same leg position and punch as if we're punching someone in the chin. Bend to your side when you're punching with your left hand and then uppercut. And then for the right, you can duck to the right a little. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. This one, you don't really need to move your legs. So don't move them too much. It's more of moving side to side and uppercut, 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 uppercut. Get them right here. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. Use your core to twist, twist, and uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Okay, so now that's our last move. We're gonna combine them all to make a combo. So it's our first combination. We're gonna use the jab, cross, hook, hook, and the uppercut, uppercut that we used. And we're just gonna go one, two, hook, up. Okay, one, two, hook, uppercut. This, this should feel quite natural because of the way your body moves after each of these punches. Now we're gonna try to do it a little bit faster. Your legs always stay the same, but try to have a light bounce, you know? Try to keep moving. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. 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 Well done, so that's the end of our first combo. Now we're gonna have a final combo. We're gonna take exactly what we learned with the jab, cross, hook, uppercut, and we're gonna add a knee, which is actually a bit of a Muay Thai kickboxing move, but it makes it more fun. So all it looks like is like this. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. You take their head, you take their shoulders, and knee. So do it with me. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. This is great for the crunch also. It's like a standing crunch if you think about it. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, knee. Well done. That's the end of our boxing workout. You learned two different combos. I hope it made you feel stronger and brought out your fighting spirit. I hope you join me next time. See you soon. With those braids and striker pose, doesn't Fiona remind you somewhat of Chun-Li from Street Fighter? <laughs> it's time for a quick break and when we come back later, a deliciously spicy dish awaits you. Welcome back. Now, staying at home has given some of us an opportunity to explore and develop a wider variety of interests and also hone our skills in baking and cooking. And if you are running out of ideas what to cook for lunch, look no further because our jovial celebrity chef Bob is about to show you how to whip up a dish that will bring on a smile to you and your family. How does grilled chicken with spicy coconut gravy sound to you? Hi guys, Chef Bob here again. To all our Muslim viewers, Selamat Hari Raya Maaf Zahir dan Batin. 
Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make ayam panggang. Let's check it out. Okay, make sure you all stay at home and do this, cook this for your family members within the household. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the ayam panggang rempah. We have our onion. If let's say you don't have any red onion, right, during this uh, circuit breaker, you all can use uh, shallots or Japanese onion. It's up to you, no problem, okay? In. We have ginger. In. And we have garlic. Alright, onion, ginger, garlic is an integral part in any rempah. Alright, so these three goes hand in hand together. Alright, and we have some turmeric. In and chili padi merah or red chili padi. And we have some nutmeg powder. Water just to fill it up to the brim of the ingredient. That's it. Go. So we have here the rumpa. So there's chili padi in the rumpa. So when you saute the rumpa, be careful because the chili padi will make you want to cough. Okay? So oil and in goes the rumpa. And then uh, lemongrass, just the bottom part, give it a bruise, and in it goes. Blue ginger, galangal, take out the skin and just a few slices, a couple of slices. In it goes. Lime leaf. So once I break it, put it inside. All the aroma, the flavor is all inside the rampa. Okay? In. And turmeric leaf. Sit. You get a good bruise. Amazing. In. Alright. So, once like this, we have some coconut milk. In. Gorgeous. All right, so season with salt and sugar and the rest of the nutmeg powder. All right. And then in goes the chicken. Cover it up, okay? Simmer low and slow for at least 30 minutes, all right? We're gonna get the chicken all tender and the sauce is reduced. After that, we're gonna panggang the chicken. So after about 25 minutes to half an hour of low and slow cooking, let's check it out. Beautiful, okay? So the sauce is all reduced and thick. The chicken is fully cooked. Right, so now it's time for us to panggang or barbecue the chicken. If let's say at home you don't have any the um, charcoal barbecue, you can do this, put inside the air fryer at 200 degrees Celsius for around 5 minutes, okay, for the color to be caramelized. But if not, you can just heat up a pan like this, 
with some oil. All right, make sure it's very, very hot. All right, just take the chicken, then put it there. Once it's like that, we need to... Beautifully. Make sure the top one is the most handsome one. Huh? Take the sauce. Some fried shallots and garnish it. And there you have it, ayam panggang for you to try and enjoy it at home within your household together with your family members during Hari Raya. I'm Chef Bob, Samad Hari Raya, Mahazai Batin. See you soon. In our current warfare against COVID 19, technology comes in handy and can be put to good use. Digital tools such as Trace Together and Safe Entry help to speed up contact tracing, leading to earlier detection and isolation of COVID-19 cases. So we can all do our part by accessing and using them to help ease the tracing processes. I'm Hosan Leong, stay home and stay safe, and I'll be most happy to see you once again tomorrow on Home Together. Cause home is never